Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am here once again with another Books A Million haul. This has been a very long awaited one and I am very sorry for not making one. I have been very busy with school, play practice, and just a lot of crazy things have been going on. But I was able to go to Books A Million today and I got some awesome books to show you. So, let's get to it. The first book that I got is... Roseblood by A.G. Howard. This is a Phantom of the Opera retelling and I got this book because I love Phantom of the Opera. It is my all-time favorite musical. I have seen the 2004 movie, I've seen the Broadway version, I've listened to the soundtracks, I know all their songs. I just love everything about this musical and that's pretty much what drew me to buy this book and I'm really excited to read it because it's very interesting. Here's the front, the side, and the back. I'm going to read it to you to tell you what it's about. Rune Germain, whose voice has been compared to that of an angel, has a mysterious affliction linked to her talent that leaves her sick and drained at the end of each performance. Convinced that creative direction will cure her, Rune's mother ships her off to a French boarding school of the arts of a renovated opera house rumored to have ties to the Phantom of the Opera. Shortly after arriving at the Roseblood Conservatory, Rune starts to believe that something otherworldly is indeed afoot. In the last boy she's been frequently she's seen frequently the graveyard beside the opera house doesn't have any classes at the school and vanishes almost as quickly as he appears. When Rune begins to develop a secret friendship with the occlusive Thorn, who dresses in clothing straight out of the eighteenth century, she realizes with his musical guidance she feels cured. Thorn may be falling for Rune, but the phantom haunting Rosebud wants her to for a specific and dangerous purpose. As friendship deepens to romance, Thorn is faced with an impossible choice. Lead Rune to her destruction, or save her and face the wrath of the phantom, the only father he has ever known. I'm already starting to have some suspicions about the story, but I'm really excited to read this and I will do a review once I read it. The next book is Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. This is a short story, um, a collection of short stories. Um, I am going to be reading all of the short stories at once and I will do a review of each one once I read them. And I'm really excited to see what kind of short stories are in here because I've read, well, I haven't actually read the book, but I've read the name of the short stories and I'm really excited to find out what they're about. But anyway. Here's the front. I really think that the picture is really pretty. The side and the back. And there's not really a summary to this book, but I can tell you some of the, some of the short stories that are in here. Okay, we've got uh, Mile 81, Premium Harmony, um, Batman and Robin have an altercation. I'm really excited about that one. The Dune, Bad Little Kid, A Death, The Bone Church, Morality, Afterlife, Er, Herman Wilk is Still Alive, Under the Weather, Black Egg Billy, Mr. Yummy, Tommy, The Little Green God of Agony, The Bus is, is Another World, Orbits, Drunken Fireworks, and Summer Thunder. So here it is, Bizarre Bad Dreams. And the last book is Poisoned by Jennifer Donnelly. This is another Snow White retelling, and I'm really looking forward to this one. This one's pretty interesting. It's like a, I'm pretty sure it's like a retelling of the Snow White story, you know, the same plot, but a little bit of changes, but I'm really excited to find out what it's about. Here's the front. I really like the cover. It's really pretty. And the side and the back. And it says, break the enchanted mirror, crush the poison apple, seize your own happily ever after. Right? Here is what it's about. Once upon a time, a girl named Sophie rode into the forest with the queen's huntsman. Her lips were the color of ripe cherries, her skin as soft as new-fallen snow, her hair as dark as Marilyn. When they stopped to rest, the huntsman pulled out his knife and took Sno Sophie's heart. It shouldn't have come as a surprise. Sophie had heard the rumors, the whispers. They said she was too kind and foolish to rule, a waste of a princess, a disaster of a future queen. And Sophie believed them. She believed everything she heard about herself. The poisonous words people used to keep girls like Sophie from becoming too powerful, too strong. 
With the help of the seven mysterious strangers, Sophie manages to survive, but when she realizes that the brutal queen might no be to blame for the attack, Sophie must find the courage to face a more terrifying enemy, proving that even the darkest magic can't extinguish the fire burning inside every girl, and that kindness is the ultimate form of strength. So I am looking forward to reading this and doing a review of it. So that's Poisoned. So that is my Books A Million haul. If you would like to see more, make sure to subscribe and comment what book you would like me to purchase. And please let me know what Stephen King book you'd like me to purchase as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.